Hello, I'm Gary Jolly from the Tractor Store in Richland. Now's the best time of the year to say more with Mahindra. And it all starts with zero. Pay zero down and zero percent interest up to 60 months. That's more for less on many of Mahindra's best-selling models with tractors that deliver more lift, capacity, fuel efficiency, and built-in weight. So get zero down, zero percent interest for up to 60 months on Mahindra, the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra, available at the Tractor Store in Richland. Well, Coach, I guess we just start off with uh, what, what are you like and what you're seeing so far in uh, spring practice? Well, uh, Heath, I've been very pleased with really everyone associated with our team, especially on defense, uh, the effort that they've played with so far, and then the overall just buy-in. You know, these kids are literally doing everything we're asking them to do. There's no pushback. There's no complaining. Uh, they want to be coached. They want to be coached hard. They want to be loved. And it's really been a lot of fun, to be honest. You know, you're kind of restarting and uh, you're fresh with everybody. And that's been the biggest thing from that standpoint. And then, you know, being in pads last couple of days, you know, when you're not in pads, you can convince yourself of a lot of things, good or bad. And since we put pads on, I think our kids have played with physicality. Uh, and great effort. So I've been very pleased with that. And then, you know, I've been very impressed with our defensive coaches. You know, they've done everything we've asked them to do. Uh, their buy-in, their understanding of the system uh, and our process and which how we do things on defense from meeting days to practice days, everything that comes with that, their buy-in has been tremendous. You know, that's Brandon Lacey, our defensive line coach, Mark Kreiner, our outside linebackers coach, our safeties coach, Dan O'Brien, uh, and our corners coach, Chad Williams, along with our support staff. They've all done a phenomenal job. Can you maybe uh, talk about similarities, and, and it may be totally different uh, on your side, but what are the similarities maybe with what Southern Miss defense has done in the past as compared to now, maybe with the fronts that they put up? Are, are there, is there a lot of similarities, or is it totally different what you're installing? Uh, well, Heath, truth be known, man, I don't know much of the past last couple of years with the previous staff. I know a couple of years ago they did a really good job on defense. And, uh, you know, there's, there is a base there. You've got to give credit to the, to the other staff for the job they've done with that. But, you know, what we do front and coverage-wise is significantly different. There are a couple similarities just because there's trends in defensive football that people do, right? But there's really not that much. You know, we're very multiple at the front. You know, we're going to play three down. Uh, we're going to play four down and we're going to play different variations of three down and four down. And uh, you know, there's really not that many similarities, but certainly there's certain techniques that come that, are, that were similar to what the previous staff was doing. How do you feel uh, the players are adapting to maybe the new uh, language, uh, new schemes? How do you feel, even though, you know, you really hadn't was at four days in the practice, how do you feel like that they're adapting to it now? Uh, to be honest, Heath, they've, they've done a phenomenal job. What we do is not easy. We're not a, you know, line up and play over cover three or play three man front drop eight the whole game and, hey, just let them play and go play hard. It's not what we do. You know, we're an aggressive attacking style of defense. We have a lot of checks, a lot of adjustments. One person can move within each call and you have an adjustment to it. You've got to communicate. Um, and I've been so impressed, you know, and I think that goes back to one, you know, giving a credit to our coaches, the job they've done. They've learned a new system, too, and uh, spanned the last month and a half and to be able to help implement it. And certainly there's hiccups there, but the players they're I mean, their buy in has been incredible. I mean, it's it's been it's been awesome, to be honest, almost almost really humbling what our kids have done from the off days. When they take corrections, when we're here as a whole defense, defense as a unit going over corrections, the humility that comes with that. And they want to get it right. And their, their, their buy-in, their urgency, their intensity has been great. And the execution has been, has been pretty good, especially relative to a new system. Um, Glenn, you got a question, buddy? Go ahead. Oh, well, I was going to ask you, um, with the way the rules are in college sports now, college football nowadays, um, unnecessary roughness, targeting, how hard is it for you to come in and coach aggressiveness, but yet and still uh, try to in, try to establish, you know, to where you're not being overly aggressive? Is that how do you, as a coach, um, I guess, combine the two and try to play within the rules, but aggressive with the way things have changed? 
you know, at the end of the day, uh, I know this kind of sounds whatever, the, the rules are the rules. You can't hit them high and you can't hit them really low. I mean, and you have to teach that. And every day, you know, we do a tackling circuit and we emphasize those things. We emphasize keeping your eyes up, hitting the strike zone, which is, you know, your torso, uh, your waist to your chest. And, and that's the rules. You know what I mean? I don't think there's any gray area about it. At the end of the day, when you're playing a game like this, where there's a lot of moving parts and uh, speed. I mean, those things are going to happen, but we have to coach it and correct it every time it shows up in a negative light in practice. You know what I'm saying? And we need to clearly define it for them. And we try to do that in every defensive meeting every single day, whatever the rules are. Like today, we had some live periods, some that, and what, what you meant by that were tack them to the ground. The other periods were thud, which means we're just butting them and letting them go. You know what I'm saying? So those are the rules, you know, and you have to be able to do that. And I think it goes down to clearly defining it for them and showing good examples and bad examples throughout football and, and teach them and letting them grow. Last question I have for you. Uh, who has been some guys that have stood out to you in um, spring practice so far, some guys that have really stepped up and showed you something uh, this uh, early? Uh, I don't really want to single anybody out right now. I've been really impressed with the whole unit, like I said, with their physicality and effort and their buy-in. And they're, and they're, they're, they're fun to be around, Heath. I mean, it's, it's a joy to come to this defensive meeting every day um, and be around these guys. You know, up front, you know, Coach Lacey's crew up there, Sykes and Kitchens and Jock and Q. I mean, they they're, they're all have done a good job. And certainly there's been mistakes, but their buy-in has been great. You know, at linebacker, our group, you know, Swayze Bozeman and Hayes, uh, Santrell Latham, Rakeem Boo, Zach Portlock, like all those guys, they're buying in. They're doing what we're asking them to do. You know, it's, it's safety. You know, Jay Stanley, uh, Malik Shorts, right? Those guys, Coach O'Brien's doing a phenomenal job in a very complex system. And at corner, uh, Coach Williams with Cam Harrell and Lakevious Daniel and all those guys in that group, they're doing a phenomenal job. I'm sorry I can't list all of them, but they're, they're doing everything we're asking them to do. They're taking corrections, and, and we're growing. I think we're getting better as a defense every day. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Cam Harrell. Oh, Cam, can we just, uh, first things first, can you talk a little bit about the differences you've seen so far in, in, in the coaching staff since you, uh, you know, former, nothing, not bad or anything, but what's something that they're doing that's totally different from what you've been through before? Um, personally, I would say they're, very, very structurally sound. When when they say something, they want to get it done, they mean it. Um, when they say we're going to do this at this time or this for this long, it's it's done, you know. And so uh, they've really kind of stepped up and helped be more of leaders rather than just coaches. You know, they've been leading by example, which has helped uh, the defense, the offense, and everyone kind of, you know, follow in their footsteps uh, the way things should be led. How much different uh, what you're doing last year as compared to now is there a lot of difference in techniques or, or anything being used is it totally different or is there a lot that kind of remains the same on on your end i mean for us as a defense i mean football is football you know uh you got you got your cover three you got man coverage there's only a certain amount of things you can do you know um but for as far as technique it hasn't been too much of a difference you know we just we just uh, go out there do what we do we get our corrections and we get better each and every day. Uh, ling language wise, is it, is it starting to not scheme wise or anything like that, but maybe language wise, are you starting to really take a grasp of what's going on? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said before, like football is football, but the biggest thing from transition from coaches and different schemes is just the verbiage that they use. So if you can associate and tie things together, it makes things a lot easier. And me being one of the older guys, he's kind of, I've seen a lot of football, so it's kind of easier for me to tie the languages together. Hey, Grayson, man, how you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Good, buddy. I guess uh, talk to you a little bit about what's, I've been asking each player this, what's the biggest difference you've seen from uh, last season to this season as far as from a practice standpoint? What have you noticed big changes? Well, I think the, uh, the biggest difference that I, can, that I can see is just the intensity that guys have. Guys are out there flying around, having a good time, making each other better. 
Uh, I think they're really excited to get a spring ball this year. That's something that we didn't get to have last year. And I think guys are, are really enjoying just going out there and playing ball and, and being loose and, and just having a lot of fun with it. Do you, how do you feel about the offense? Is it, is there much difference? Is there a lot of difference? Is it, you know, what's, how do you feel about the offense so far? Only four days, you know, into practice, but how do you feel so far? Well, it's been really fun to learn from Coach Hall. Um, he, he's just a, a really sharp offensive mind, just a lot of stuff taken from the NFL, from the New Orleans Saints and, and Kansas City Chiefs and, and stuff that, that guys run in the NFL, which is ultimately where, where everybody on this, on this team wants to be. And um, just, just getting to run those concepts is, is really cool. And, and learning from somebody like Coach Hall has, has been really neat. Uh, Grayson, where would you say uh, uh, Trey Lowe is, say, from where, where y'all kind of wrapped up last season? Do you uh, think he gained confidence with the way last season ended? And what do you see maybe a little bit different out of him so far this spring? Well, I think Trey is playing with a lot of confidence. I think Trey's always been a guy who's had the ability, but just getting in here and, and Coach Hall coaching him up and getting comfortable and getting confidence, he's been he's been lights out out there for, through the first four practices. It's been really fun to uh, to see and and uh, I'm really fun to, to catch balls from him for sure. Is the offense much more complicated or maybe it's not as complicated as far as from a verbiage language standpoint, or is that pretty much, how, how do you feel about that? Um, I think, you know, I think it might be a little bit more complicated, but um, at the end of the day, you know, learning a new system is, is always going to be, is always going to be a little bit more difficult. One of my coaches said that learning a new offense is like throwing mud at the wall and, some of it's going to slide off and you pick it back up and you throw more until more sticks. And, and that's really what it's been through four days. We're still installing. We'll go through install five tomorrow. And that's really what it's been from guys is just, is just learning and, and learning on the fly. You are now, um, what is something as a senior graduate uh, that you can help the other younger guys learn going through another spring practice, a, a whole new offense. What's something you can teach these guys? Uh, I think really what I've learned throughout my college, my college experience is just how to handle adversity with counting Coach Hall um, and including my interim head coaches. This will be my seventh head coach in my career. And I've learned how to adapt with change and just learn new offenses and, and uh, just, you know, just kind of roll with the punches and just handle adversity. So I think that's really something that I, and kind of relate to the younger guys and, and kind of help them through. I think you and Jack Abraham are setting records on how many coaches y'all play for. And I think he was he's on like his seventh offensive coordinator. Yeah. Sorry. What's it like what's it been like to work under so many head coaches, just different coaches? Uh, it's it's definitely been it's been neat because a lot you 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 gain a lot of connections and, and just relationships with people and also you can see how stuff is run. Um, and just, you know, what, what coaches think about this and that and just, and, you know, learn from, from you know, you can kind of carry stuff over from previous coaches and then you have new coaches and you learn new stuff from them. So it's been really neat to just kind of get a different perspective from, from that, you know, a lot of people don't get. What are some things about your game that you made a personal goal to get better at going into next season and over uh, spring practice? Well, throughout my whole career, I've really been a pass catching tight end. And, and this last season, I took on more of a, a role of a blocking guy. And that's something that I work really hard on. But I think this season, I would like to just round, round it out and be able to do both really well and kind of get back to my roots of, of being a true pass catching tight end and really stretching the field and, and making plays.